Hello everybody and welcome to Dreamo. This is a puzzle game at heart, although surrounded with narrative elements, so that means there's gonna be a lot of voice acting and just story in general. We're gonna be taking a look at the first 20 to 30 minutes of the game today. I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by the publisher, Carbon Studio. And with that said, let's check out the game. Mr. Winslow? Can you hear me? Mr. Winslow? Can you hear me? What? Who's talking? Oh good. You're connecting. My name is Tara Moreau. I'll be your guide. Can you hear me clearly, Mr. Winslow? Just... Jack, what is this place? How did I get here? Where are you? Calm down, Jack. You were in a plane crash. A plane crash? Am I dead? Are you a ghost or something? Where am I? You're alive. Just in a coma. If you... Just in a coma? Is this... like s some sort of dream? Yes, but don't worry. If you work with me, I will guide you out of it. Wait, how is that possible? A lot to tell. There will be time for that later. Jack, there should be a big cube lying nearby. Do you see it? Yeah, I can. Is it supposed to be doing something? Whoa, what is happening? The cube is activated. I'm sorry if I startled you. I always forget to warn the listener before launching artifacts. Most importantly, it's working. Come closer, and try to activate it. I did it. An hourglass? I don't understand the meaning. Some artifacts produce objects that have some significance in your memories. We call them memory markers. Does it mean anything to you personally? Maybe that I have to hurry? Or that time is irrelevant here. Think positively, Jack. Try to find a place for this marker. Wow, that's astonishing. What happened? By solving the artifacts and putting the memory marker in its place, you recovered some of your memories. At this rate, You'll wake up at any moment. There are new artifacts. Do you see them? Unfortunately, I still do not have a visual preview. My system must synchronize with your memory. It will take a while. Alright, so... <laughs> as you can see, I'm gonna obviously have to be quiet most of the time because the game is very centric on voice acting. But probably in these puzzle segments I can... Uh, voice how bad I am at them, so like, you can actually rotate the cube with WASD as well, and you can very much expect that the puzzles will become a lot more complex later in the game. Jack, tell me what you see. Wrecked boats. You said I was in a plane crash, so why am I seeing these? I do not know. Maybe it's a metaphor? Maybe it is related to your past. Huh. Relax, Jack. We do not necessarily have to think about the meaning of each image. Memories can play tricks. Alright, this is uh, relaxing in a very eerie way. <laughs> kind of uh, just teetering on the edge of death, I guess. Hey crabs, can we interact with you? No. You never really want to interact with crabs anyway. Alright, so let's see how long it takes us to solve most of these puzzles. 
This is my first time playing the game. But, uh, you know. I, I'm, I'm good with gears. Uh, obviously not. Am I out of gears here? Yes, I am. Okay, we're gonna have to reconsider that. Uh, so we can actually remove them. So let's see here. This is the base gear, so these were just here to trick me, I guess. We can actually put this here. Uh, that's too big to fit there. That's too big for that. Let me remove this, make sure we have space. We don't. So in that case, let's just skip that one entirely. And put this... Nope, that won't work either. Alright. So, you can definitely expect that this game will um, take some Maybe trial and error. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, I got this. I'm only in a coma. I've got all the time in the world. Uh, I think I'm overthinking this. That's way too small, obviously. We're gonna put... That doesn't fit there either. Alright. Okay, let's just try and bypass that one then. The top one, maybe that one's there trying to make me think that it would be a lot easier. Than it. Okay, yeah, there it is. We got there eventually. And give me a break, I'm in a coma. You know, my brain isn't working right. A sandcastle. Sandcastles are a symbol of impermanence. Yeah, they can be washed away by the sea at any moment. Maybe it means that my life is impermanent and illusory. You were supposed to think positively, Jack. Perhaps you sacrificed too much time for things that did not matter. Like all of us. I'm not sure her outlook was very positive either. <laughs> this all seems quite depressing. A positive thing would be, hey, uh, we should make sandcastles. Be creative, you know? Enjoy life while we can. I should, uh, I should try and get a job with this company. That seems to be trying to salvage his brain or soul or something. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out as we go on. Is there anyone else here? No, only you and your memories. The raft is a good sign. Symbolizes the escape. Maybe this is a way I'll get out of here. The raft symbolizes the need to open up to the help of others. Oh, I need it very much. Do you think I'm doing well? I've never had a better listener. Hey, thank you. See, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Oh, we've got a little uh, belt over here to connect some gears. Okay. You can move some rollers. Select the roller that is on the crane. Hold E to move it. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's not a belt. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a belt that would uh, connect the gears and rotate them together. Okay. This is going to be even more complex, actually, I think. <laughs> Alright, where do we begin? Okay, so we've got here, and then we need to end up there. Not too difficult, right? Uh, let's go from this direction. Let's try this out first. So, we can do a big one. Nope, we need a bigger one for that. Is that bigger? Nope, These this is bigger. Odd. They look like tracks. Alright. Uh, can we fit we need a smaller one? That won't rotate. Will this rotate? Nope. I don't think we can use this Maybe peg I here. Have to do it differently. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm way ahead of you, even though I technically am you. All right, so now we're going to put the big one here. I think we're going to need another big one for this. Is this bigger? Nope. Uh, nope, we don't have enough there. Okay. Let's uh, rethink this again. So we can actually go to the side here. I wonder if that's... Wait, let me just remove this. Is there a roller on the track? There is a roller. Thank you for noticing. So I'm going to move it over here, put a medium-sized one there. Let's try put a big one like this. No, that doesn't reach. Well, if the biggest one doesn't reach, then a smaller one isn't going to reach, right? Nope. Okay, so let's start again. <laughs> let's go to this big one here. Let me try this again. That doesn't yeah, fit. I don't like this. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be so negative. Okay, definitely this side is out of the question. Unless we do this, actually. I Nope, that definitely doesn't fit either. Can you manipulate I will manipulate it. Don't you worry. Okay, I think we our only choice is to go upwards. So let's try this again. We're going to choose a smaller one. Wait, did the big one fit here? No, it doesn't. Okay. So we're going to choose... These are the same size, right? Yep. Yeah. We're going to put a medium-sized one here. The big doesn't reach. <laughs> what? All right, so I just cut for your sake because it wouldn't be a very good preview if you're watching me solve you're a puzzle for well. ages. So yeah, I actually did this, put a small one here, moved it over, and now we do still have a big and a medium left over. That's it. 
So I'm going to assume we can put a big here. No, we're going to do a medium. And then we're going to do a big here. No. Okay, let's try switch, move the thing like this. That won't fit. We'll put a big here and a medium here. There you go. I'm a master at this. Ooh, we got an artifact. It says Jack. J-A-C-K. A vial with my name. I remember that I used this for experiments. Or experiments. Tara? Are you alright? Yes. I'm sorry. I had a communication problem, but it's alright now. Jack, find a pedestal on which you can place this marker. Why do I not believe Tara, huh? Are you hiding something? Alright. Put it down here. They say you shouldn't put yourself on a pedestal, but here I am doing that. <laughs> the island is expanding. I see a meadow, a forest, and more artifacts. The feeling of a warm sand underfoot is nice, but I like grass better. Just like me. Hey guys, can I be included too? Because I like grass more as well. Wow, this is, uh... Yeah, this is a lot more beautiful. You just reminded me that you rarely talk about yourself. You're right. That would be unprofessional of me. No, that's not what I meant. It does not matter. Let's continue. Alright. Ah, vegetation and nature. <laughs> Was that funny? Yes. You were the first person to say that about me. I'm in the same room, if that's what you mean. Hmm. How do I look? Hmm. Let me think. Tall. Skinny. Covered in IVs and electrodes. After the accident, do I look normal? I'd give you an 8 out of 10, if it weren't for the cables and hospital gown. <laughs> That's pretty low. <laughs> Did this guy just say 8 is low? Jack, if I got an 8 rating from anyone, I'd be flattered. What's wrong with you? He should stay in the coma, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh my god, this looks even more complex. Oh boy. Alright, let's see if we can figure this one out faster. So we're gonna put a small one here for sure. I bet you I'm gonna have to move. And no, you know what? This is already a trick, I just know it. So I'm gonna put the thing in the middle. Put the medium. Uh, oh, I missed the tooltip. If you wanna look at something adjacent, hmm, whatever. It'll probably come back if it's important. So here we definitely need to put a small one. Oh, wow, there's so many options. Oh, and we can go to the side like this. So how many more gears do I actually have? I have four. Medium, big, and two smalls. Okay. And only a small can fit here, that's for sure. Uh, let's put the big here. No, that doesn't fit. Okay. I think we're gonna have to move over to this. Put a small. That doesn't fit either. Try to focus. I am focusing. I'm trying, Tara. Okay. Small here. Well, yeah. We can't move the peg there. Okay, no. Here's what we should do. Put a medium here. No, that doesn't fit. Big. No, that doesn't reach either. Okay. Interesting. Um, what if we put a medium like this? No, the other pegs are in the way. I assume here as well. So let's try... I guess let's try go like this. Whoa, what's... Is this some random peg there? Can I even do anything with that? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, fine. Let's try put it back in the first position that they were trying to get me to do. So we put the small here. And now we can put another small here. No, that doesn't reach. Medium. That was a medium, right? Yeah, it was. I'm sure you. Oh, thank you so present. much. Let me just look down here. If we put it down here, there's only one peg. There's no way that could be it. So, hmm. Okay, let's try move it back up here. I don't think. I think the middle one was the closest we got, but I must have been missing something. So the medium doesn't rotate. It has to be small. Oh, wait, I need to put one here first. Uh, what if I put a bit? No, that won't fit. Yeah, medium is the only option on that. And that means small is the only option here. So if we go... What if we do like this? Small... No, small doesn't fit. Well, then medium won't either. So no, I can put nothing here. As long as I have something there. What? Think positively. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not... I swear I'm not thinking negatively. Small? And then, I already tried that. Oh. If you want to look at what on the adjacent wall of the artifact, don't want to rotate it, hold shift. 
Aha, uh -huh. that's cool. I like that. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so I put this there. And then I put a medium to connect here. I think another medium will go here. Nope, a bigger one. Oh, that was a small enemy, not a medium. So I was right in the end, technically. We could move this over to here, or we could go to the side. We only have three gears left, so this would completely waste our time here. So I think we have to go... Oh, small doesn't fit. What if we do here, and then do a large? And <laughs> hey! What do you think of me now, Tara? Are you going to boost my rating to a 9? Huh? There you go. The readings tell me you've managed to solve the artifact. Tell me what you see. I'm thinking about the company. Can I reveal sensitive information about it? I have full authorization from your boss, Mr. McLean. I would not be able to contact you without it. Is he nearby? No, he couldn't be here. Only I am here. Back on topic. This warehouse, it's for the company. No, that's unrelated. I just wanted to make sure I can freely talk about it. You have nothing to fear. It's only you and me, with no third party listening in. We must be honest with each other. Only in this way will I be able to help you. Maybe if you give me a nine. Then maybe I'll believe that you're being honest with me, huh, Tara? So we've got a jungle over there. A lovely, lovely little meadow with the rabbits. And pineapples. Oh yeah, you know, I always forget that pineapples grow on the floor like this. It's so strange to see. Alright, let's, uh, let's head over into the jungle. I assume I can't scale that. Nope. I mean, I'm in a coma, you know. I, I can't force, I can't push my body that much. Looks familiar. Familiar? What do you mean? It's a bird's eye view of an island with points marked on it. Do you think it's a map of your memory? Perhaps. The question is, what are these points? They must be important since you marked them. Hmm. Well, this does look like the place I was in. And this also looks like uh, a location of where all the cubes are. I believe. That's the starting one, and there was the first one, then I did left and right. And now I did... where am I? I'm on the left. I did one cube there, so I need to head to the right side, or I can head further into the jungle. If I'm correct in my assessment. What about now, Tara, huh? Now do I get the 9? <laughs> that's, that's my goal the whole game. To just try and get a high rating, because apparently Jack is too good for an 8. Okay, so this is where we're going to put the thing on the pedestal at some point. Uh, I'm going to assume then that in that case we have to go to the right. Oh, here's a speech thingy. A waiting room? Can you describe it? Three seats, unoccupied, an empty coat rack. Looks like it might be outside a clerk's or doctor's office. Why would there be only three seats? Mm, I do not know. Maybe the point is that the number three symbolizes the harmony between body, soul, and mind. Yeah, right. And a hanger? If nothing is hanging on it, it can mean a state of waiting. Uh, I don't like this vague guessing game. No worries. If it does not remind you of anything, then we should ignore it. Hmm. Alright, let's make our way. So there probably will be a cube waiting for us around here. If my detective skills are right. I really like the music. It's very, uh... It's very much, the tone of the game is very much what I said at the beginning. It's relaxing and eerie at the same time. Or distressing, shark, I should say. Right by the shore. Incredible creatures. Did you know that for every human killed by a shark, Two million sharks are killed by us. Are we so afraid of them? It's about the cartilage in their body. Sharks rarely get cancer, which is why their cartilage is tested to find a cure for cancer. Disgusting. And terrifying. Wow, I never knew that. Jack. Looks like you're an informative boy. The anchor. It reminds me of something. 
Calm sea. A key ring that I once lost, but it probably won't lead me where I need to go. Not every object has to have a deeper meaning. The fact that she says that makes me feel like, you know, she's being she's being honest. To a certain extent at least. You know, I feel like this machine is actually doing its job because it's like art. Not all art has a meaning, right? <laughs> I do see another bed here. This one's probably gonna be depressing, right? Maybe it's just a regular dream. Maybe I'll wake up in my own bed if I pinch myself. You can try. You would only make my work easier. <laughs> and? I'm still here. At least you tried. Yep. As I said. Depressing. Oh, there's the cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, I just saw that there's a beam of light. Okay. That would have made it easier to locate. It's so strange. What is? That my mind is a mystery to me. I've always looked for answers to every question, and now I know nothing. At first, memories are enigmatic and difficult to guess. Later, the crucial ones will become clear and lead the way. Trust me. Just be patient. Alright, and as she said, just be patient with me while I make this cube. Although it seems it's not active yet. So I assume I have to complete them in a certain order. Tara, can you tell me something more about the artifacts? Is this your design? No. Each artifact works and looks different for each listener. In that case, why are you using cubes with rollers and gears? It's your idea. I create them? Not completely. I cannot say anything more about it, because it's part of your memories, and you have to discover it by yourself. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but if <laughs> some of these shafts can actually be, uh, yeah, interchanged like that. So, we're gonna have to work extra hard for this these small one different. here. Probably a medium here? Yeah, I'm getting used to it, I'm getting used to it, so we need to take it there to the right side. Hmm, I feel like it would have been... Maybe try something different. Wait, what, already she's telling me I'm wrong? How about like that? That sounds, that seems better, yeah. Small there, a medium here. Gonna put a small here, nope, a medium. And... Oh no! That was basically my ticket out of here! <laughs> but then this shifted. Those are my last, oh, that looked perfect. Okay. Check if you can interact no, yeah, with Yeah, I, I know I can interact with them, don't you worry. Okay, so we're gonna try and... Can't go to the right just like that. Can I go above? No. Can I go left? No. I definitely can't go to the right. Right? No, yeah. That doesn't work. So we have to go down here. It's... It's... There's, there's no way. And we have to do the small one there. How to solve it? I assume that won't work. I assume this big one won't work. Actually, I don't have any bigs. So I feel like up to this point, it has to be that way. There's no other way it could be. So instead of going here, since that didn't work out, Some we're gonna go down disappear, here. While others appear when I push them. Small there. This is not gonna work out. Nope, that didn't work out. Oh wait, hang on. Oh. What? I somehow got both of these active at the same time. There you go. So I was on the right track, I just needed to find the right way to trigger all of the pegs at once. Are you all right? Your pulse is high. No, nothing bad happened. I mean, I'm in some basement. The ground gave way and I fell. I'm glad you're okay, Jack. You must watch out for yourself. Can I die here? With my help, you're safe. How much can I trust you? I understand your worries. The spectrogram did not show this hole, so I've already increased the frequency to predict this type of events. You may not believe me, but I want you to get out of here in one piece. Thanks. Alright, there you have it. Those are the first 20 to 30 minutes of Dreamo. If you want to pick up the game for yourself, there is a link in the description to do so. My name is Mr. Winsheep. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.